compute the average. This is the last task from this section and we have to use almost everything that we've learned so far. So what are we supposed to do? Given n integers, compute their average rounded to three decimal places. What is this task telling us? Given n integers means that we probably have to repeat something n number of times, so we have to use loops. And compute their average, so we have to calculate the average, means that for sure we have to use the for loops. And then we have to display the result rounded to three decimal places. So we want to use floating point division. Probably we have to use BC, so the thing that we've learned about when we were doing tasks uh, related to arithmetic operations. And what's the input format? Uh, first line contains an integer n. So first we are getting the n uh, that tells us how many more numbers we want to input. And then we want to input n lines that contain a single integer. And output is uh, this uh, average of those n integers rounded to three decimal places. So a single number, but a floating point number. So what are the constraints? Contra constraints are not that important, uh, only that n is uh, positive. So we don't have to check if someone inputted, uh, for example, minus 10 then. What does it mean? How many more numbers do we want? For sure, the number is uh, positive between 1 and 500, so we don't have to um, put this uh, check into our script. And x uh, can be between minus 10,000 and 10,000, but for the average, it doesn't change much if you want to uh, compute the average with positive or negative number. We are simply first summing all the numbers, but when we have the total, uh, the total sum of all the inputted numbers, then we want to divide it by the number. So if it's a, a negative or positive number, it's the same thing. Uh, it's uh, just uh, for our information that we are expecting only numbers. We don't have to check also if someone, um, for example, by mistake inputted a string. That's not the case. So we are uh, dealing with pretty simple algorithm. And the sample input looks like this. First, four. So we are expecting an average of four numbers. Then we have to get those four numbers, one, two, nine, and eight. We have to sum them and divide by their number, which is uh, the first uh, number that we've got, in this case, four. And the output should be five. So uh, one plus nine is 10, and two plus eight is also 10. So it's 20, 20 divided by four. It's five. That uh, seems to be pretty reasonable. There is also some explanation, but I think that it's uh, self-explanatory. So let's try to build this uh, solution step by step with a script. In the terminal, we open a separate file called script.sh. And uh, what do we want to do? First, we have to input this first number. That's easy. That's the thing that we are doing since the beginning, read L, and then we want to sum the numbers. So we need to have some a variable where we will be storing the sum, and then we want to input n numbers. Maybe we can put it like this. So for e in uh, and uh, till now we were using the curly braces to generate numbers uh, as a sequence of numbers. But unfortunately, this time we can't do it. So before we were doing something like this, uh, one, two dots, 50, but it doesn't work with variables. So if you want to do this construct, if, if you want to use this one and uh, with uh, this curly braces um, thing, you have to know the numbers before. You can't use the variable. At least I don't know if there is a way to do it. If you know uh, how to hack it, uh, then uh, tell me in the comment. But I think that uh, it's not uh, really doable. But there is another way to construct a for loop or to generate a, a sequence here. It's uh, using a command called sec. So probably it stands for sequence. And here it uh, works exactly the same way, really similar. Uh, you give uh, the first number. Also, by there we were saying, for example, we start with one, that's our first number, then two dots and 50, that's our last number. Here we are doing the same thing. We start with one and we want to end uh, with uh, n this time. Yeah? So we want to 
repeat this um, for loop n number of times and n number of times we want to input um, we want to read a number from the user so what do we want to do during this task we want to read number and we want to sum those numbers so that's how we do the summation arithmetic operations inside bash dollar sign and two parentheses and sum plus number let's close it and in the end when we are done with our for loop we have to write done and then let's end uh, here let's see if we have any mistakes and errors any unwanted behavior let's uh, save it and try we will try to execute it so script let's copy it if everything works correctly we should get 20. oh it's not correct and uh, let's see what's here ah sh uh, sure we want to display the sum not the number uh, my mistake oh it should work correctly yep perfect so the only thing that's left is to use bc to divide the sum by the total number of elements by n and uh, what can we do we can use echo and we have to specify the scale scale is equal to 3 in this time and we want to divide the sum by n and we put this to bc using the pipe and bc should tell us the result if we paste it here we are getting five perfect it should work correctly we can simply copy the script and try it on the website everything works here the same way as we expect we run the code wait a little bit processing congratulations everything is fine and now we can submit the code and use it against all the cases of oh, one test case is wrong let's try to see what could be the case so the problem is probably with this uh, part scale equals to three they don't want the way or they don't like the way the bc is uh, handling and um, this uh, decimal precision so we can get the full result from bc using minus l fact then we will get all the decimal places maybe not all uh, there's probably infinite amount of them but uh, enough that uh, we want for this exercise and we can store it in a resolve we can create another variable called resolve and let's see uh, what are we getting right now and it's of course wrong but our output right now looks like this so there are many many decimal presses and we can use another tool another command uh, that's uh, handling the decimal places a little bit different than bc itself and sometimes uh, we've already had a uh, task like this they want uh, this way and so th they want the printf way printf is another command that's used to display things to the standard output but uh, echo doesn't allow us to specify the, the number of decimal places that we want to use and printf gives us this possibility using a percent and then uh, dot and the number of decimal places that we want to use an f for floating point number and then we can simply use the variable that we want to pass to print f and print f should handle it uh, correctly and let's see if everything works fine still correct answer and now submit the code perfect everything is green